it is always important to help your fellow man. And in particular, this student decided to help those who are in the agricultural sector who are down on their luck. So let's take a look at how he intends to help them through his project. Good morning, my name is Nicolas Marinacci and I'm going to be presenting my capstone project. My capstone project is a social impact fund that will be addressing chronic poverty in rural areas in Nicaragua through agriculture. So the core values that I identified that pertain to my project are social responsibility because we will be helping the poor people of Nicaragua, specifically those in rural regions where poverty is most extreme. Global awareness because we will be connecting these rural producers to global markets and also bringing foreign capital through the social impact fund. And lastly, innovation and creativity, because we are going to instill these values on the producers, teach them that hard work comes with a better reward and simply get them out of the attitude that just waiting will yield any good. So the problem, as I mentioned before, the biggest problem and what the problem, the problem that my capstone project is trying to, to fix or help is rural poverty in Nicaragua. Nicaragua is one of the poorest countries in the world and it boasts a lot of uh, income inequality, a lack of opportunity and extreme poverty. And what happens with extreme poverty is that People who live in that are kind of stuck because they don't really have access to education, to technology, or to any resource that can help them be entrepreneurial or forward thinking. They're really just stuck trying to live day by day and there's really no plans or, or general consensus of what to do to get out of that situation. So, in order to show that my capstone is a good idea, I included some statistics that show what the problem is, how heavy it is, and really why fixing or aiding poverty in Nicaragua through agriculture is a good idea. So in Nicaragua, approximately 30% of the population lives on less than $2 a day. And in areas where poverty rates are high, it's about 50% of the households to live in extreme poverty. So what does this mean? It means that people in Nicaragua are very, very poor. And with less than $2 a day, you can't really do much but survive. So another, another interesting thing to note is ag the agricultural sector's contribution to GDP in Nicaragua. And as you can see in this chart on the right, it shows how agriculture has been growing in Nicaragua. and in January of 2019, it contributed about $4.3 billion to the GDP. In this case, the y-axis is in millions of dollars. So it is actually a very big sector in Nicaragua. And also an important fact to note is that most poor people who live in rural areas of Nicaragua normally have something to do with agriculture itself. So more information on the problem. It's clear that these poor producers can't really do much but sustain themselves with their own crops or maybe sell them but at a, at a cheap price and maybe they're not the best crops they could be producing as Nicaragua is very fertile regions and can really produce very premium products such as premium coffee or beans. So what's my proposition? or actually Favreto's proposition because it is a joint project. What we are proposing is to create a social impact fund that will raise about $5 million in order to give, give these producers quality vocational and technical training, as well as the capital resources that they will need to improve their product quality and yield. And these capital resources have to do with transportation, uh, soil testing to ensure that the soil is the most fertile and then that it can produce the best crops and simply the education that we're going to be giving them so they are able to produce these high quality crops and yields. 
So the way that we've progressed on this project is by first we needed to set up financial projections to know how this was going to be viable, where the money is going to go, what the profits are so we can tell the investors. I've also made some one pagers to really show the impact that this fund would have for these producers as I think that marketing the fund for what it is and showing how much impact it can make really speaks for itself. So other progress that I've done is trying to connect people, doing business connections. I've, I met this person in New York who was involved in the social impact sector and I try to connect them to my dad and they're talking about a possible joint venture. So this is some of the stuff I've done to further the goal that I've set for my capstone project. And what are the results of the work? Along the way, we've also done some case studies. And these case studies pretty much are what the fund is going to look like once it launches. And these case studies have been immensely successful. We've seen farmers double their yield. We've seen them have a better distribution of quality, for example. We can expect about 80% grade A coffee and 20% grade B, grade B coffee, when before it used to be much lower than that. And we can see this across all the staple, all the staple crops of the project, which are passion fruit, dragon fruit, coffee, beans, and chia. So other results of the work are business connections that I've helped made. So this is uh, the Burke Agro plant here in Nicaragua, and they are going to be one of our partners in selling the passion and dragon fruit. And what this is, what the what the result of this is, is that we were able to establish a good connection with them. So we know they're going to be uh, helping us out with the selling of our product, and this pretty much is the connection to the global market as they sell to the U.S. And lastly, why is it important to ANS and how can we get the community involved in this project or support it? I really think this is important for ANS because um, ANS has this focus of producing leaders and really producing this global awareness. And I think that this project is extremely important because we're not only being aware of what's happening here in Nicaragua, but what in what ways the world can help Nicaragua and how it can all be interconnected and how entrepreneurship and innovation, which are uh, core qualities of ANS education, can help out solve some of the most deeply rooted problems in our country. And the way that the community at ANS can get involved in this project is by, well, pitching in, donating to to organizations such as Favreto, um, talking about insight on how the agriculture sector, sector, sector goes. I mean, there's really not much that the ANS community can do by furthering this project because it's kind of um, very personal and private to Favreto, but they can definitely help out through marketing fund, letting people know that it exists, uh, finding out new ways and new ideas to improve agriculture as a whole, and simply just wishing the best for Nicaragua and putting the work in that needs to be done. Thank you. Thank that you can. It would be great to spread the word about this social impact fund. And remember to always buy local. It helps the farmers around you and it helps the local economy.